Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and today it is Wednesday, May the 13th, 2015 and thank you for watching. So today the message um, stems from last night I got to be on A World Awakening with Andrea Perrin, um, you know, the author of The Conjuring Trilogies. You know, she was the eldest daughter of the Perrin family. Um, who lived through that? what the movie was made about. And also George R. Lopez, they host uh, an amazing show on Tuesday nights. But I said, jo you know, jokingly, but it's the truth, uh, you know, thanks for expanding my horizons. You know, they were talking a lot about the UFO and the disclosure and things that happened last week. And, and um, so fr from that and my walk this morning, my meditation time, I wrote down, don't be afraid to expand your personal horizon. It may feel like you're being challenged and you may experience some growing pains. So open yourself up to a little bit more today. Um, try to understand other people's perspectives and views of things. Because um, I tell you, every time I do that, I grow a little bit and I have a better understanding about what is going on in life, in the world, in our existence. You know, just, you know, simply talking about, you know, other beings. And I use the word alien and, and, and some people are like, you know, calling them alien is, is odd because they're here. They're part of our planet, part of our existence. And some people like the word star people or star beings. And, you know, we're, and basically we, we discussed and said it's pretty much like semantics of what you call it. But it was just so beautiful to find other people who are in a different kind of category than me of study of all things metaphysical, spiritual and otherworldly. But yet we still have a lot of commonality in believing, you know, those beings are present with us. We can connect. We can communicate with them in you know different ways shapes and forms so expand a little today that's all i'm that's all i'm gonna say just saying just saying so today is the 13th day of the month that is our death card that's about endings bringing things to a close it's also number four because three plus one is four four is this beautiful solid number building formation practicality seriousness it's our emperor card which he kind of goes along with that in, in energy you know endurance and hard work lenormand to go along with this energy today cross so this is the 36th card or the last card of lenormand and the cross is about the cross we bear, the pains, the troubles, the woes, the deaths, the ending that we don't understand. Um, also, all the numbers add up to number eight today. So that is interesting because that's our authority, our power, our self-mastery number. Um, it's a number that's followed me around most of my life. And the terror to go along with it is six of wands. So today we have victory over our cross, over our burdens, over the things we bear. Both these cards have bright, brilliant reds and oranges and yellows. So we're talking with a lot of base chakra. I pulled the shirt off today and I went, I'm going to feel sexual today. Um, so it's echoing even in these cards with the with the wands, the six of wands, because wands are very masculine, powerful, and sexual in, in nature. So today, rise above those burdens that you have been bearing. It's the 13th day, so bring them to an end. Bring them to an end. Tomorrow, number 14. 14 is temperance, trials, tribulations, challenges, things we go through. Just talked about, you know, expanding your horizons and it may feel like a challenge, so you may feel this energy. Also, 14 bulls down, number five, that is change, transition, resourceful, freedom, versatility, um, promotion. And then um, all the numbers add up to nine today, which is about completion. It's a master number endings you know it's perfection because uh, it's, it's everything it's it it is finished it's done you know hanging on the wall don't touch the painting anymore um and then uh, that goes along with the ending of today lenormand to go along with tomorrow's number is 14 yay it fits right in with the card and the number which is fox and this is about deceptions deceive us once again we got oranges and reds and yellows here so we've got some very fiery base energy base sacral solar plexus chakra energy the lower three what I call what Jennifer Hornberg Todd Todd Hornberg calls the vroom 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 the you know the human stuff. Um, so we've got that deception. This can be about small business as well. Tarot to go along with it is going to be not a ten of wands. So here we have ten right after the nine. And also this interesting. This is nine of clubs. So before I pull that back up. So we've got the nine of clubs, which is nine of wands. So we've got all kinds of wands going on all day today and tomorrow. And tomorrow with that fourteen day nine energy with the nine of clubs on the 14 car which is the fox which is hard work deceptive hard work in your small business or there might be really difficult work around someone being kind of sneaky but i'm going to go with a fox being small business today a lot of hard work going on or there's some hard sexual work going on because we've got all this fire base energy base sacral solar plexus energy so there you have it 
Check out my website, intuitivemessenger.org. Beautiful creature spread still up. Very exciting things. I'm working on a new website. Probably be about a three to four weeks before that's up. Just going to be a, a change, more streamlined. Um, also creating, um, you know, my my LLC just to make things a little more legal because I know this is going to just grow and expand. So this Saturday, don't forget New World Wellness in Kissimmee. I'm doing intuitive animal communication from 2 to 4 p.m., $35. You go onto their site or call them and register. Um, there's a meetup for it. There's you know a Facebook page, but all the information, go there, check it out. If you have any questions, you can always email me. Namaste. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.